the next few minutes, we will show you how to generate Accounts Payable Transaction Reports. Use the reports available in the Accounts Payable Transaction Reports folder to print a variety of transaction reports to maintain your audit trail and to analyze accounts payable data. Let's open some of these reports. The Age Payables report shows the aging of documents that have not been fully paid as well as the transaction history of those documents. When opening the report, we can select the report type. We'll select Age Payables by due date. Then, choose the date the documents are going to be aged as of, and the cutoff date. Any documents that are newer than the cutoff date will not be included in the report. Specify how the transactions should be printed, either with detail by document date, or number, or a summary. We'll select Detail by Document Date. We can modify the values for the aging periods and filter and sort the report as desired. To view the transactions that have been applied to the invoices, like credit notes, debit notes, adjustments, and so on, select Apply Details. To include fully paid transactions, select the corresponding option. Now let's open the report. For each vendor, we can see the outstanding transactions and the documents applied against them. If we go to the last page of the report, we can see the totals owed to vendors for each aging period. Let's close this report. The Aged Cash Requirements Report shows how much funds you need to have in the bank to be able to pay outstanding documents. The Vendor Transactions Report lists transactions that were posted in a given period for all vendors or for the vendor selected. We'll open this report for one vendor. The Batch Listing and the Posting Journals reports are printed as part of the workflow when posting transactions. Were you able to generate the reports? Congratulations! You now know how to generate accounts payable transaction reports.